the 2005 Mountain Running Championships was here in Wellington. So your hometown, uh, home course. Uh, I've seen a photo of, on the internet. It's you running down to, towards the finish line. The the streets are packed uh, with uh, you know locals. Uh, I was talking to a trainer this morning, and he remembers that race in 2005. And a lot of people who have never seen a running race before. Uh, it was their first experience of seeing it. So take me back to that day, explain where the race was and just the, the feelings uh, before and after. Yeah, I mean, it was an incredible day and it was, um, I think one of the geniuses of the event and the event organizer was holding it in, um, starting it in Oriental Bay mm. and the course was around Mount Victoria and obviously Oriental Bay attracts a lot of um, just people to come and you know walk along the side of the beach, and it, it, it was a day where it was a typical Wellington northerly, like a bit windy, but the sun was out, so there were a lot of people out walking around, and I think it people naturally just stopped and were inquisitive about what was going on, mm. and then um, I think I they probably more attraction um, naturally happened because first of all. Uh, Jonathan Wyatt, who's a Kiwi, he won the men's race, and mm. that was maybe two hours before my event. Um, so it's always exciting to have a you know, home team from Wellington too. Mm. Um, having someone from New Zealand win a world champs, literally on your, right in front of you. And then I think they knew that there was some, I mean, a, a relatively strong women's field. Um, Melissa Moon was mm. the favorite from New Zealand. Um, she had won quite a few world mountain running titles before and she went in as one of the one of the favorites she hadn't had an amazing season but she was still in pretty good shape um and i was i had a great lead in but i was still a real dark horse and definitely wasn't um a, considered a favorite mm. um and I, so i managed to fly under the radar which was awesome and i knew i'd had an amazing build up in the lead up to that day but um I didn't believe I could go in there and win it. Mm. Like I didn't wake up and think I'm going to win the World Mountain Running Champs today. Mm. Um, and I ran the race how I liked to, which is I led right from the, the gun. I was in front from the start. Mm. Um, it was two laps and the first lap I think I had about, might have been a minute lead. And I, um, you see, you came back down onto Oriental Bay and then you had to go back up Hay Street, which is pretty steep. And I had a pretty big lead, and I started thinking, oh no, I've like gotten way too excited. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna completely blow, and it's gonna be you know, pretty embarrassing. Um, but I managed to keep extending it. Um, and I just, I mean, I, you know, I, I knew the course well, I trained on it, I was obviously fit, and yeah, everything just fell into place. Mm -hmm. And that feeling coming down that finish line. What was that like? Ah, oh, it was unreal. Mm. You know, one of those moments in life that you definitely never forget. Mm. And I had one of my um, training partners, she handed me the flag, the New Zealand flag, and was running down, wow. so I grabbed that, and it was it was incredible. Mm. Um, you know, a moment that you, it's, you know, had a few and far between in your career, and, you know, that was 15 years ago now, mm. and I've, I don't think I've had a moment to the same level since. Mm. Mm.